Someone could steal your car or your flat screen TV. Someone could break into your house and clean out all your valuable possessions. Yet you and I possess something of unspeakable value that can never be stolen. It's our imagination. How valuable is that? Well, a former prisoner of war told me how imagination had preserved his sanity while he was confined in a small concrete cell in North Vietnam. For three years, he would imagine himself at home with family and friends, or outside sitting under a tree, reading. At times, he would write stories in his mind and then read to himself from his imaginary book. During the final months of my father's life, when he was confined to bed, Dad would talk about how he had furnished his mind with so many good things, things he could now draw upon without ever leaving his room. Dad could revisit places and review events that would have been denied to him without his fertile and active imagination. One of the most amazing stories about the power of imagination comes from China, where Liu Shikun was a world-renowned concert pianist at age 19. He placed second in the International Tchaikovsky competition. Then came Mao Zedong's bloody purge, the so-called Cultural Revolution, and Liu was thrown into prison for refusing to denounce Western music. He was brutalized, and during one beating his arm was badly broken. After six years in confinement with no books, no music, no piano, Liu was summoned for propaganda purposes to appear with the visiting Philadelphia Orchestra. He not only performed, he played brilliantly. How could this have happened? Liu explained, during those six years in prison, he had created a piano in his mind and practiced it faithfully every day. That imaginary piano was one his guards couldn't see, they couldn't hear, and they could not take it away. And imagination is a terrible thing to waste.